good morning. Good morning. What a great day to be in the house of the Lord. Uh, worship this morning. Our Our back to school, school drive. In our lesson of the backpacks, we'll take part next week as part of the service uh, for all of our educators as well as our kids going back to school. Uh, choir will be meeting Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. in the choir room. Those are back on. Those practices are back on. Church council meeting September 14th at 7 p.m. in uh, either the fellowship hall or the Bible study room, whichever we need to do it in. I just found out about that. Are there any other? <laughs> are there any? Prayers, praises, and updates this morning. I'm, most of these folks are not here. I just want to uh, list their names. Uh, Terry Case and Tom Case both have birthdays uh, this week. Uh, Pam Russell has a birthday this week. Erica, has, my lovely, dearing wife, has a birthday this week. And Miss Ellen Hill had a birthday the, this past week. So it was. David Glenn.
slowly uh, started back up doing my does a soft opening I'm kind of done a Guess I'm back on the porch on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. So, um, Ms. Linda, do you have something? I have a, um, my, my sister-in-law and her husband, Margaret and Donald Davis, are both in the hospital. I need to keep them in my prayers. From Margaret and Donald Davis, who are hospitalized. Are there others? Children. The, the missions that the uh, It oftentimes does when they're on their own and outside of the church. It's a praise. Of furniture because they're Yes. For, for our community and for, particularly for From this life, These names, we have lifted these individuals, these families, these people in our lives, your people, people that are going through so much. And oftentimes, I would guess, ask, why, or is this fair? But Lord, we know that you work in mysterious ways. Lord, we know you can use situations. find good. Lord, we know you are still performing miracles in our lives as we have been continue to act in our Lord, each of these names that we've raised, situations, whether it be comfortable, Lord, we know you are there, and we are 
allow us to be like Jesus and go outside. Some wouldn't be present to allow us to bring a little fairness back into this world, a world that is so broken at this moment, but a world Son was the one who was the model for acting and doing in this world. And he taught us a prayer to pray when we either don't know what to say We're starting in the 21st verse, and it reads as follows. Jesus Just then, a Canaanite woman from the region came out and started shouting, Have mercy on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not answer her at all. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away. For she keeps shouting after us. He answered, and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. He answered, It is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. She said, You wish, and the daughter was healed. Preparation today is what a friend we have. In song this morning by standing.
pressure that I'm used to. Is it fair? Is it fair? I think we can all, all agree on one thing, which doesn't happen very often, but I think we can all agree that life We have things happen in our lives, the lives of our loved ones, in our It's because of this broken world that we live in. When we are going through those times, Jesus is living. You may not feel it, but Jesus are excluded from the love of Jesus. So we have to prove nothing. One of those folks that thought that she needed to prove her faith to Jesus was the Canaanite woman. Now, we are never told this woman's name, only referred to as her as the Canaanite woman. And before we dive directly into this scripture, I want to give a brief backstory of where we find ourselves in the ministry of Jesus. Those Scriptures that are listed in the parentheses on your order of worship. The Church of Jesus. For failing the law and others. Read today. The tradition, even. Maybe Jesus wasn't about. understand. It is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but what it is that comes out of the mouth that defiles a person. Jesus was more concerned about what came out of our mouth, about the words, the phrases, the actions that came particularly concerning those extravagant Jewish food laws. In verse 15, 17, Jesus tells us, do, not, do you not see whatever goes into your mouth? It doesn't really matter. At least we hope so. The words that came are more important than harm of what. Willing to let those things go 
leave those long-held traditions behind in order to better ourselves and better the world. Now we do our scriptures for today. For followers of Jesus as we would like Jesus to or expect Jesus to. Jesus doesn't always conform and be as human did at all in helping didn't react to her and calls power, recognizing the authority that is there. Despite this, Jesus still has this interaction with her, where he seems to not be listening at all. But he doesn't run away. He doesn't send her away. Clean. Who is in? Who is out? This unsettles all these Matthew sixteen sixteen when Peter. and understood it better than the twelve disciples which Jesus that was being done. These disciples yet quite caught Jesus appears to just not be listening to any of the voices, both the woman as well as the disciples. This gives, in some weird, strange, and miraculous way, this woman hope. For Jesus is not rejecting her. That Jesus should continue the work that Jesus had been doing. That for the house. Appears to go. At the time that Jesus' ministry not just for see this amazing This physical action of kneeling 
is done to signify the king. The Magi, I'd also bring up also Gentiles. The unrepentant slave kneels before Jesus, the king, or kneels before the king in the parable of the unforgiving servant in chapter 18. And then the mother of James and John kneels before Jesus as the king of the kingdom in 20, verse 20. She has called a sign of recognition of the leper kneels before Jesus. For a daughter, for a of power and authority. This she feels as though she is failing at her task to get a response to help her daughter. Something that anybody that has had children has felt that inability to help. herself to completely humble herself. She goes as far as being willing to take on the role of the household dog in order to be part of the household of Israel. To be part And to say it to a woman. Strangely, brings hope to this woman. Again, for she is not. and praises her for her faith. The Canaanite woman understands that the work of Jesus is not to be kept in only the house of Israel. The hope of Jesus is for all in the world. Commission coming in our scriptures, that no, there are no boundaries to the love and hope of Jesus. But I ask, a crumb of what we have. them a seat at the table. Not only to defend your faith, she had a better concept of who Jesus Her faith 
No, it's not fair. It's not fair at all. It was not how we know Jesus to act in these situations. <laughs> Between individuals to humans. We know the entire story of how Jesus does things. But those that surrounded Jesus at this time. Of a teaching tool. What is fair is that we are always the Canaanite woman was used in his day. Is not to all, all who want to accept it. Now, our second lesson from this interaction is that traditions that have been long held for generations. may not be so important. These traditions are not only what we eat, those we've mostly forgotten about, but who we include. Done. requires you to live in a fully on tradition. See how God works and does miracles. Jesus lifts us up Lives. And yes, sometimes as fair in the way that Jesus is working, but we have to realize something. What we as humans see as fair and what is actually fair for all those who witness it can be seen very There and, and sacrifice herself to be the household dog. Say she would be the household dog just to gain entry into this household.
Instead of listening, the voices are. So go and. Amen. Amen.